like shit, right, Lee? <laughs> hey, don't use swear words, okay? <laughs> Damn it, Clementine! <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> It's Jessica and welcome back to The Walking Dead Season 1, Episode 2. I don't remember what the name of this episode is, but yeah, in the last episode, um, essentially, we're fucked. That's basically what happened. Starve for help, that's right. This is actually probably my favorite episode regarding, like, disregarding the last episode, but this is probably my favorite one. On the Walking Dead. I know who you are. Oh, I got another good one for you. Stupid cop. Oh, yeah, how many times did Lee fall in the last episode? Five yeah. or six, I, I want think? My parents to come home now. And you, you keep an eye on that front door. You're our lookout. It's Doug. You got it. Oh, and I'm Doug. Carly. Okay, Carly. You'll shift in with Doug. You got it, boss. Son of a bitch. I hate Larry so much. He pisses me we off a kick lot. His ass. That's what I'm thinking. And right in front of Clementine too. Like, oh my god. It's messed up. And I don't give a shit about what happens to you. But if anything happens to my daughter or that little girl you've got with you, <laughs> you watch your ass. I think you're gonna watch your ass. But right, here we go. So. I don't remember what I chose for this episode either, but I hope this doesn't screw me over in the third season because I haven't played that yet. I'm really worried about it. <laughs> All right, Skybound Entertainment. Oh, there's a walker right in front of us. Three months later, three months. Like, I don't, I don't, in, in general, the Walking Dead series, the comic book or the TV show, I really don't think they're gonna find a cure. Honestly, that's what I think. Damn it. What'd they get this time? Uh, looks like a rabbit. Ugh. <sighs> well, that's another meal lost. Oh yeah, this is the new guy, I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> I still can't believe we went through all that commissary food in three months. It seemed like so much at the time. Maybe you shouldn't have opened the door. Yeah, except then I'd probably be food by now. Trust me, I have no regrets. All right, that's good. He's a little optimistic, you know. I'd take it. All right, We're Mark. All hungry. No kidding. When I accidentally grabbed for Carly's rations the other night, I thought she was gonna take off my hand. We're all on edge. Just cut us some slack. Yeah, you can't really blame them. They're starving. You know what I mean? Yeah, you're right. It's not that they mean anything hard. Maybe for sure Larry, how much food but. Everyone else know. Um, uh, we'll we'll manage somehow. We'll manage. Maybe. You know, some people aren't too happy about the way Lily's handling rations. Lily knows it's important to keep the adults fed and functioning. Sometimes that means someone's got to miss a meal. The you kids. Think Kenny's having any more luck than we are out here. I sure hope so. Yeah, between the lack of food and Kenny and Lily fighting all the time, oh God. things are getting pretty tense back at the motor inn. You know, Kenny's been talking about taking off if he can get that RV running. Of course, Kenny always wanted to do that to, to begin with, but you have to consider he has a family with him. He's got a wife and son to look out for. And they're safest in a big group. Going out on his own will get them all killed. Can't blame him, though. Yeah. Did you hear Larry going off on him last night? Was he I'm getting the, like, anyway? you know, the first time I played, so I didn't notice, but I'm you. starting to realize Mark is kind of a gossip, isn't he? <laughs> Just gossiping about everybody. He's an old racist asshole. <laughs> oh, I'll be nice. He's just looking out for his freaking daughter. Looking out for his daughter. Hey, I know Lily. She can take care of herself. He needs to take that energy and put it towards finding us some more food. That, and I that know is Lily true thinks he's getting weaker, but the guy's all muscle. He's a walking pile driver. I know I wouldn't want to be stuck in a room with him. I don't think and anyone does. Punch him in the face one time. Uh, Mark, no, why are you like flat. gossiping all of a sudden? Like, holy shit, he's kind of pissing me off now. A bird! We can eat a bird, right? Don't shoot the bird. Don't. It's not worth it. You're gonna miss. You're gonna waste bullets and then draw noise. Don't. Don't. Gunshot will bring walkers. One bird's not worth it. Exactly. <sighs> yeah, I know. 
I'm just really freaking hungry. Oh no. Shit, was that Kenny? I don't know. Come on. Shit, we're fucked. All right, goodbye everybody. <laughs> Who is it? So far nobody's in here in the forest, so that's not really good. Also, the screen will probably attract people, right? Or walkers. Ah! Fuck. We're gonna die. Oh, who's this? <laughs> That's Jesus gross! Christ. Oh shit, no, no, please don't kill us! We just wanna help our teacher, we'll leave, I swear! Oh. Wait, you guys okay? Get, get it off! Get it off! God damn it! Get, get it off me! Dude, you gotta Travis, stop yelling. Maybe they can help! These might be the same guys that raided our camp, and we barely got away from that! What guys? Why the uh, fuck is there a Okay, we're not gonna hurt you, here. let's it's calm okay. down. We're not gonna hurt you! Don't listen to them, Ben. Please, just let us go. We're not a threat to you. Kid, chill out. We'll try to help you, but you gotta shut the fuck up. <laughs> hey, this is fucked up. We've gotta help you. Yeah, it's true. Please. Ben, shut up. My dad was special forces. I know what I'm doing. Oh my just god. See if you can shut get him up. Out. After that, you can leave us or whatever. I don't care. Please. Okay, okay, we'll try. Get him out of there. Oh god, thank was you. Was he bitten? Like, clearly Fine, not. You gotta hurry. <laughs> hurry, please. Hurry. Oh, good! The dead are coming out. All right. Well, we're we're screwed. This trap has been altered. There's no release latch. Um. Oh no. Yeah, because you're fucking yelling the entire time. Shit. Of course they're gonna come Walkers. out. It's now or never, Lee. Please, get me out of this. Mark, get the boys back. Kenny, keep those walkers off of me. Okay, so let's try this first. This is bad. This is so bad. Stop, stop, stop. Please do something. Please get me out Can of this. Can we break this? Out of this. Oh, no, no, no. Get out of the chain. Oh, fuck. Okay, the chain. He said the chain. So let's try that chain. That chain, that chain. Come on. Oh, Jesus. Those let's things go, are going to be go. here soon. No, nope, not working. Sorry, dude. We got to cut off your leg. We got to go Herschel. Full Herschel. Oh, Sorry. I have to cut you out. No, no, no! Try the trap again. Anything, please. Damn it, Lee, Dude, it's either your your leg, leg or you're just chopped off. Oh, ah. I'm sorry, but we have to go now. Ah, gross! God, the fucking sounds. It's disgusting, dude. Sorry. Lee, I can't keep it back forever. I know, I know, I know. Ew, is it still on there? Ew, it is! Ah, uh, uh, God, God! Shit, is he? He passed out. He's gonna bleed to death, though. We gotta get him out of here. If he's alive, grab him and let's go. Oh my God! I'm just getting flashbacks of season two of Herschel. My goodness, or three? I don't remember what it was. I think it was three, right? Behind you! What? Travis! Come on, come on, we gotta move! You could have saved this kid. If I'm being real, you could have saved this kid. Oh, it's too late. He's dinner for the zombies. No! Ah, that was going for the stomach! Why? Ah, oh, God, it's disgusting. I like how he's using a rock for a hammer. <laughs> God damn it. This is extremely depressing. They're just staying at the motel, but I guess there's no point. At least Clementine has a soccer ball, you know what I mean? This kind of sucks. And then they have no food, and then they're fucked. Then that guy just lost his leg. Uh-oh. I just, you know, even though they built a defense force, I wouldn't stay at this motel either to begin with. Even if you, it's not guaranteed, like, the, let's say the zombie apocalypse will be over within a week. I wouldn't stay at a hotel. Uh-oh. Who is it? 
Gates open! Oh, We've got wounded! Shit! What the hell are they doing? I Bully! Come on! Come oh on! My God. What happened? Oh, what's going on? We have time to explain. Lee, are you okay? Get yeah, the Clementine, we're okay. You, Kat, okay. Can you fix him? Jesus, Ken. Lee, uh, I don't know. Lee, what? What the hell? You can't just be bringing new people here. What are you thinking? We can't just hey, leave them there either. For a fucking hey, minute, what's no, your mouth? I don't. I want to know why you thought bringing more mouths to feed was a good idea. Oh, I could save I him. We could save his life. I'm the one that took his leg. That makes me responsible. Well, that was a stupid thing to Shut do. Shut up, Larry. We are you weren't not even responsible there. for every struggling survivor we come across. We have to focus on our group right here, right now. I can't stand Lily. Honestly, I really well, can't. Well, hang on. We haven't even talked to these people yet. Maybe they can be helpful. Exactly. Come on, Lily. These are people. People trying to survive just like us. We've got to stick together It's to still not bad in the, the apocalypse The only reason yet. you're here is because you had food. Enough for all of us. But that food is almost gone. We've got maybe a week's worth left. And I don't suppose you guys are carrying any groceries, are you? Um, no. Fine, you guys fight it out then. <sighs> Welcome to the family, kid. Come over here and see what I drew. Oh, Clementine! <laughs> no, I... Just come on, okay? You know, I like how she's trying to help. Group, but we can make our own goddamn decisions. I love her. She's such this a smart girl. This isn't your own personal dictatorship. Exactly. Oh, come on, you're being dramatic. Everything always turns into a power struggle between you two. I'm not gonna be a part of that. Hey, I didn't ask to lead this group. You Everyone just was did it anyway. Distributing the food when there was enough to go around, but now that it's running out, suddenly I'm a goddamn Nazi. Y'all are wrong, both of you. Those people are here now. I guess we just have to decide what happens no, next. No, Lee, it does matter. One person can't be in charge of everything. You know, it might feel safe for you to sit on the fence. Shut the fuck up, later, Kenny. I you're swear have to, to God. Decide whose side you're on. Fuck off. I don't see any of you stepping up to make the hard decisions. My girl's got more balls than all of you combined. Yeah, Larry. Dad, please. Yeah. Why don't you go help Mark with the wall? <laughs> Fucking jo I hate everybody in this group right now. <laughs> Except for Clementine. You think this is easy for me? Everyone's starting to hate me. No one, I'm no one ever said that it was food. easy. Like that's Nobody what I don't like to. about Lily. She jumps to conclusions too much. I know, like the situation you know is really fucked up, I'm and she's like in a tense you like spot. But today's food fuck, she jumps to conclusions. Not enough for everyone. Good luck. All right. Fine. We only have four food items and ten hungry people. First of all, in business, I'm gonna feed the kids, so Clementine and Duck, because, well, I'm taking care of Clementine, I don't give a fuck, I'm gonna give her food, but i maybe give one to Kenny, and Carly? I don't know, dude. Okay. Alright, let's see how Katja's doing. Is he gonna be okay? I don't know. Can you give me a hand real quick? Sure. Sure. What do you need? Just apply some pressure here while I try to close this up. Okay. You know, I thought I was starting to get used to this, sewing up people's injuries. But I mean, cuts and bruises are one thing, but Lee, this man has no leg. Yeah, she, she has a point. Uh, I did the right thing, though. I can't just I leave him the right out there. Thing. Yeah, I know you did. The right thing is just scary sometimes, I guess. Well, you've done all you can, Lee. Thanks for the help. Of course. Go ahead and check in on the others. I need a little space here anyway. Alright. Now that that's over, let's talk to fucking... Oh, you know what? Clementine. Let's make sure she's okay. How you doing, Clementine? Okay. Are you sure? Where's your hat? I don't know. Can you help me find it? Oh, of course, Clementine. Sure. When did you lose it? I had it a couple days ago. I promise. If I find it, I'll let you know. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, Clem. I've got to take care of some things. Why don't you go back to playing with Duck for a while? Okay. I feel bad for Clementine. And the kids, actually. Like, all of them. Even Ben. Because Ben is, like, still a teenager. And, like, I know the whole point of the apocalypse. Like, no one can stay innocent in these kinds of situations. But it's just really sad that they have to grow up through this. So, uh, I'll just give Clem food. Here, Clem. You need something to eat. 
Uh, let's give her an apple. She seems like she would like an apple. I love apples. Yay! Thank you. Are there more? No. no. That was the last one. Oh. Um. Enjoy it. You deserve it. Okay, and then let's see how Duck's doing. You okay? How you doing, Duck? I'm okay. Me and Clementine are coloring. Guess what it is? I don't know. A dog? <laughs> nope. Oh, I know. It's a goat. A right? dog? A goat? <laughs> Jesus Christ. You were pretty brave when we brought those people in here. That's because I know Mom can fix him. I know I give Duck some shit in the last episode. Like, he's a kid still, but he's he's okay for a kid. <laughs> so I'll give him hey, food. Duck, Here you go, kid. How about a little food? <laughs> His face. I'll give you jerky. Here. Yeah. Oh, man, I'm so hungry. All right. Should I give it to Kenny? Should I give it to... You know, I don't really like Mark, but uh, I'll talk to this kid. Hey, is my friend gonna make it? I don't know, but Kaja will do her best. I promise. I can't believe you chopped off his leg. What else can There's you do? No Just leave way. him in the bear trap? Um, are you alright? How are you holding up, kid? Uh, well, I, uh... I keep wondering if I could have done something to help, you know? Some kind of... I don't know. Something. Well, you did all you could, but you'll be prepared for next time. That's what I'm going to say. You'll be prepared next time. Next time? Yeah. We have to be realistic. It's probably going to happen again, right? So who are you people? Our group's going to want to know. I'm Ben. Ben Paul. All right. The man you saved is Mr. Parker, the band director at my school. We all came down from Stone Mountain for the playoffs when... Oh, that's fucked when... up. Everything happened. I'm Relax. sorry. We'll get your friend back to normal in no time. I sure hope so. Oh man, okay. Well, Carly, are you okay? Sleeping any better? No. I know we should be grateful for beds, but no, I'm not. Drugstore? Yeah. Oh, it's still with Doug. Lily has me handing out the food. Ugh, that can't be an easy job. It's not. I won't be able to feed everyone. What should I do? Well, if you wanted to get in good with Lily, I'd make sure Larry gets some food. Even though that guy can be a real dick sometimes. <laughs> On the other hand, giving that food to Kenny and his family might make him remember you. If he decides to take off in that RV one day. That is true. Well, what about you? I do side you with Kenny because too. of the bromance. We all need food. I can't tell you what to do. But whatever happens, I know you'll be trying to do the right thing. Yeah, the Carly Thanks, ship. Carly. Okay, I'm gonna decide later. Alright, let me talk with Kenny. I feel like I should give him food. Just because Carly makes a good point. We should have him on our side. Want something to eat? Here, Kenny. Take this. How about my boy? He eat yet? Yeah, I gave him food. Yeah, I gave him something. Sure, then hand it over. I'm starved. I like how Thanks. he doesn't ask, did you feed my wife or anything? <laughs> Jesus. Oh, no, no, no. I'm gonna give it to someone well, else. Lee some doesn't of these need it. people have gone longer than me without food. They're the ones that need it. Okay. So, my choices right now are Carly, Ben... How's it going, Lee? From up here, it looks like you're playing favorites. You can go fuck yourself. You just lost food privileges, alright? But, <laughs> aside from that, we have Larry over here and fucking Will Mark. Will you hold the damn board steady? I'm trying. I, I didn't realize I was getting this weak already. What do you want? A handout? Uh, I got 60 cents in my pocket. If you'll shut up and quit being such a pansy. Then why don't you hold it up? That's what I don't understand. But yeah, I can give it to either of these two, but honestly, Larry's a jackass and Mark is kind of like annoying to me. I don't really like him. Katya, I remember she doesn't accept the food because she's working on the guy. Lily, I really like... Yes, we should give it to her because she's technically the leader and she's under a lot of stress, but she's kind of being a bitch. I don't know if I should give it to her or not. Let me talk with her. We should talk about you and Kenny. What about us? They're arguing. It's getting pretty out of hand. You know people notice that. Look, I'm working my ass off to make sure we have a good setup here, and Kenny just doesn't appreciate that. You both are jackasses, All we need is though. food. But there is no food. You know that better than anyone. Well, we'll just have to find some. Alright. 
Maybe we should think about leaving the motel. God, not you too. I know Kenny wants to leave. Okay, I'm I gonna think ask that's why everybody so watching this. If you working, were if you were in this group, this a good would you want to stay at the we're motel or leave? Because honestly, I think store. we should leave. We have a routine now, and it's working. But now. Because there's no way, if you've seen The Walking Dead or, the, or read the comics, you know that every time they stay at a spot, it just gets ruined because some jackass will find them. And, like, in these kind of situations, I feel like keeping on, like, keep moving to different locations will be much better. Yes, it, it sucks and it'll be a lot harder, but I feel like that would be a lot safer. Keep an eye out. Fine. Should I give it to Carly? Fuck it, I ship though. I'm going to give it to Carly. I don't give a Want shit. Want something to eat? Here. Me? How about you? You look like crap, Lee. Ah, fine. When was the last time you ate? I'm okay. I want you to have this, okay? Aww. In case you or Clementine starts feeling weak. I know I said it didn't matter why you oh, saved Carly. me instead of Doug, but... You don't owe me anything, Carly. Did you, did you have feels for Lee? Do you have feels for... Okay. Uh, <laughs> Alright, so we can't give it to... I guess I guess we can give it to Lily. Fine. Here. Freaking give it to. I don't want anything from you. <sighs> okay. Well, you know what? Just take it anyway. Okay. Stop being such a bitch. Take it anyway. You need to eat. This doesn't change anything. I don't know why I bother mm, being nice that's to her. It. Not such an easy job, is it? Fuck off, Mark. I don't envy you. I don't know how you have the strength to do this every day. I don't have a choice. Hey, thanks for looking out for me and my family. Of course. Yeah, of course. Bromance. Still, I guess some people aren't going to be happy with your choice. You know, Larry will hate me You're regardless, out. so I don't care. What happened to my food? Speak of the devil. There's none left. You keep treating people like this, and your days in this group are numbered. You're one to talk, old man. Yeah, well, I don't see you working on that wall. Yeah, you you aren't either. You're making Mark do everything. <laughs> what the hell? God. Hey, you holding up okay, Lee? Mr. TMZ that was over here. Fucked up back there, having to cut that guy's leg off. Well, we have yeah. no choice, dude. I just hope Capture can save him. Lily's pretty pissed at us. Listen, I know her intentions are good, but. But nothing. She's making the smart choice. Those parasites you guys brought back need to go. Oh my god, calm down, dude. Sorry, there's, there just wasn't enough food to go around. I understand. Gotta be hard to make those decisions. Just get me next time. Why are you... I understand, but I'm gonna give you a shady look as you give the f food to the children. Like, what the fuck is wrong you with these people? The Air Force base? I mean, this wall isn't exactly military standard. No way I'm going back there. You saw what it was like when you guys picked me up. Completely overrun. Need any help with the wall? Nope. Actually, we could use your axe. Do you mind if we take it? Sure. Yeah, give us that thing for a bit. Um... I'm gonna give it to Mark, because at least he's nice to me. He's a f he's annoying as fuck, but at least he's nice, so... Here, Mark, this should help. Thanks. You can go fuck yourself, hey, Larry. I'm the one doing all the work over here. You didn't think to give I'm the one doing the all the work over here, yet Mark is Come the one on, holding man. up the boards. Cut Lee some slack. He knows you're just out to protect Lily. He told me so. Just like he's trying to protect Clementine. He... Oh, I just need some food. Oh, yeah, oh, eat your words. I actually never... Like I've never seen that part. dialogue before. Ken, Lee, come here, uh -oh. please. Is he okay? He didn't make it, did he? He lost too much blood. Shit, he died. God we too damn late. it. I'm getting sick of this shit. Now I'm kind of curious. How did Herschel Ken, survive that back. so easily? Nothing... Just let him go. Let him go, Katja. What? He just needs time. Yeah, he'll be fine. Rough morning. That's just traumatic what God. happened, but... I tried, but he was... I don't blame Katja. Survive. You know, she did her best. Considering the guy had no leg and she's not really, like, a surgeon. What about the other kid? Uh... Wait, wait. Oh my God, I forgot about that. Jesus. <laughs> ah! Okay. No, she doesn't want to hug. Get off of her. Fuck! They turn so quickly! Ah! <laughs> no! I don't want to hug! No thank you! No, 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 no thanks. Just head bashing. Move, move! Shit, it's 
stuck! Mark, why do you do this to me? No! Get off! Dude. Yeah! Alright, we're just gonna- we're gonna back away, we're gonna back away. And Lee falls over again. <laughs> Ew! Ah, that's so cool. No, don't shoot it! Use a fucking knife! You okay? Yeah. Also, Thanks. Mark, what the heck? Why'd you bring him here in the first place, oh asshole? Dad, calm down. You're gonna get us all killed! You yelling like this is gonna get us all killed. Why didn't you tell us he was bitten? What? He was bitten, and you didn't say a goddamn word! But he wasn't bitten, I swear! Well, your not-bitten friend here came back to life and tried to kill my wife! What?! Wait, you all don't know? What the hell are you talking about? Uh-oh, here's the secret! It's not the bite that does it. You come back no matter how you die. If you don't destroy the brain, that's just what happens. It's gonna happen to all of us. So, everyone's infected. That was the secret in The Walking Dead. That Rick infected. learned it at the Everyone? TTC. I I guess so. I don't know. I all I know is that I've seen people turn who I know were never bitten. When I first saw it happen, we were all hiding out in a gym and everybody thought we were finally safe. But one of the girls, Jenny Pitcher, I think, I guess she couldn't take it. She mm -hmm. took some pills. A lot of them. Someone went in the girls' room the next morning and God. Back off! Uh-oh. Whoa, lady, relax. Mm? Me and my brother, we we just want to know if y'all can help us out. I said back off! Carly. Um... You're outnumbered here. You're outnumbered here. Just turn around and go back. Okay, that's fine. Uh, but but you'd really be helping out a fellow Dude, survivor. Dude, just leave. We part with some extra gas before we leave. Why do you need gas? Our place is protected by an electric fence. Generators provide the electricity. Our generators run on gas. Look, okay. we own a dairy farm a few miles up the road. If, if y'all be willing to lower your guns, we, we can talk about some kind of trade. How y'all doing on food? We got plenty at the dairy. Oh my god. Lee, why don't they you and Mark food. check the place out? See if it's legit. I'm going with you. I got your back. But who's gonna stay here? Fishing. Lily, right? And so, uh, Larry, well, I guess what are y'all okay. thinking? Okay. I am aware of what happens in this episode, but if we're thinking logically in this situation, there's a chance to get food. And we- but we can't guarantee it because we don't even know who the hell these people are. It's just some random people looking for gas, which is really odd. Um, but if I were in their situation, I would check it out just for the sake of a chance even though we could get killed but you know we could get killed regardless so i think it's best to check it out you've got a deal we'll bring some gas to your dairy in exchange you give us some food to bring back we'll see how it goes from there you gotta negotiate sounds fair a couple gallons should power one of our generators for a while all right so this dairy you guys really have food sure do we lost most of the cattle, but we still have lots of milk, butter, and cheese stocked up. And with the vegetables, oh, I didn't—I didn't realize Ben was with us too. Okay, well, at least he's being helpful. It's nice to get away from that motel for a while. I'm worried about this Clementine. This Lily though. Kenny thing is starting to get ridiculous. Yeah, I agree Personally, with you. Personally, I'd be happier if you started to take charge more. Oh, really? Me as a leader, Carly? You think they'd want me for a leader? Sure. Everybody looks up to you. Well, not everyone thinks I'm so trustworthy. Because of your past. Does anyone else know? Fucking Larry, dude. Larry knows. Great. That can't be easy. Clementine knows. She was there when we were talking in the drugstore and asked me about it. I couldn't lie to her. What exactly did happen with the senator? Uh, I'm gonna just say you know what happened. You're the reporter. You know what happened. I only know what the press was told. I don't know your story. Sometimes I wonder if I should talk to the group about it. You don't have to. Whatever happened before things went to hell doesn't matter anymore. Not sure everyone would see No, it I think you should at least... Uh, right. Something like Listen, this? Years, like, I feel I've like you need to share this with a group. Messed up shit. I've seen situations like yours a hundred times. It doesn't have to make you a bad man. 
That is true as well, too. But still, I feel like we need to tell everybody about this. But I mean, thank God Lee showed up when he did. Right, Lee? Yeah, why don't you tell us a little more about yourself, I don't yourself, like Mark. Lee? He's too much of a Where big are mouth. Where from? Um, um, uh, Macon. I grew up in Macon. Right here in the heart of Georgia. That's what I like to hear. Y'all seem pretty settled in at that motor inn. Uh, who's running things over there? You know what? Fuck this. I'm going to impress myself and Carly. Me. I am. You guys have any questions? You come to me. <laughs> she likes that. Huh? <laughs> but I just feel like so... Over there anyway? Also, we can protect ourselves also. But enough to defend ourselves. It's really creepy enough that you're asking that. Enough to defend that. ourselves. Well, that's good. It's getting dangerous out there. Well, you guys know. Mm -hmm. Well, we'd love to get you all out to the dairy. Like I said, we got plenty of food and... Quite frankly, we could always use an extra helping hand. All right. In the summers, I used to help out on a goat farm. Yeah, that's great. Everything helps. Mama's been running the dairy for well, as long as I can remember, but uh, now it's. You getting... think you're going to cut me out of this? Uh oh. Shit, get down. No one's trying to cut you out of anything. You and Gary are always Fucking pulling this shit. Bandits. Who? Those look like the people who oh, raided man, my camp. Shit. Who are they? Shh. Fuck you. Fucking you knew we were hungry. They and you guys were keeping it all there's to only yourself. Two of them. Oh no, there's yeah, a you lot know what? more. We ate it all. What are you gonna fucking do about it? Don't worry. Danny and I got you covered if something happens, but let's just wait this out. Yeah, I think that's a smart move because you don't know what they're gonna do. Or fuck you! <gasps> okay, well, you know, there goes his friend. Fuck you! Fuck you! Jesus. Asshole. You know, well if they were gonna, get, okay, shit. they don't get along, they were gonna kill Come each other, but he just wasted a bunch of bullets. Safe. It looks so nice and peaceful over here, <laughs> compared to the rest of uh, Georgia right now. Here it is. A safe Saint haven. John family dairy. And it looks like completely well, intact. See how we kept this place so safe. The fence keeps them out. <laughs> you betcha. They fry like bugs in a zapper. We're pushing 4,000 volts through that thing. Nice. Generators and ants. So it's an electric fence. I'm going to assume that's a lot. Um, you ever... You ever have any accidents? Because we gotta ask for the ever kids. have any accidents? Nah. It's safer here than out there. This place looks untouched. You never know the rest of the world is in ruins. Yeah, it's like, you know what happened with Herschel. All the juice. I thought I saw y'all with company coming down the drive. Guys, hey. This is our mama. I'm Brenda St. John, and welcome to the St. John Dairy. Everybody's just this looking straight me. at the food. He's from Macon. They don't care about the mother. <laughs> all farm hands were from Macon. They grow them good there. They got a few more friends staying at the old motel. Oh my goodness, that place is pretty vulnerable. Have you got someone with survival experience to lead your group? Uh, I, once again, I'm gonna keep Leah's leader. I've got things under control over there. Well, I hope you know what you're doing. That place isn't safe like it is here. Now that y'all are here, we'll make sure you're safe and comfortable. Thank you. Um, does that offer apply to the rest of us? Does that offer apply to the rest of us? We're all incredibly hungry. These are for y'all. Baked fresh this morning. Nice. Amazing. Can't get stuff like that anymore. Not without a cow for milk and butter, that's for sure. That's right. Hopefully Maybelle will make it through this bout of whatever she's got and be with us for a good long while. That's good. Your cow is sick? What she... We have a vet. We could bring her here. We can help you folks out. Fucking Mark, oh, big man. mouth again. Oh, my. Our prayers have been answered. Hang on one second. Sorry, I just need to complain for like five seconds. But even even if, you know, whether these people are good or bad, you don't know who they are. And Mark just like blabs out everything about like our past and our group. That's what I fucking hate about him. Maybe our whole group could come for the day. Well, how about this? Y'all go get your veterinary friend, and I'll prepare some dinner. A big feast for all you hungry souls. Mm -hmm. It'll be nice to have some folks to help out around here again. Danny, why don't you come help me out in the kitchen? Why don't I head back with the food and round up everyone for the trip over here? Might want to take someone with you. Remember, those roads can be dangerous. I can handle myself. Take this. Okay. Why yeah, I trust Carly, because she knows how to shoot. Take care of yourself, Lee. All right. See you in a while. Be careful. 
Mark, Lee, why don't you take a look around? Once you get settled in, I could use some help securing the perimeter. Is there a problem? Sometimes the dead get tangled up in the fence before they fry and end up knocking over a post. It'd be a big help if you could walk the perimeter. Okay. You can learn a little something about our fence. I'm gonna go top off the gym. Yeah, that'd be a good idea. Just because dry. we're gonna bring Clementine and Duck here. You betcha. But this fucking place Mark, is I wanna incredible. punch him in the face. It's got food. And that fence? Oh man, that fence. If we play our cards right, this might turn out to be a place we can stay. So how do you wanna play this? How about you just shut the hell up and not, like, talk about things? We have to make sure it's safe first. Before we can think about bringing our whole group here to stay, we need to figure out if this place is as safe as their Exactly, tourists. this guy's not thinking right. straight. That's what Obviously, I don't like. Obviously, they think it's safe. But is it safe enough for the kids? I noticed a broken swing over there. Not a big deal, but maybe there's other things not working that we just can't see yet. And checking the fence perimeter? Sounds like a decent way to get a good mm -hmm. look at the defenses. All right. I'll keep my eyes open, and you find out what you can from Andy. Okay. Okay, so that swing is broken. Can we- is it possible we can fix this, right? Too bad it's broken. I'll bet Clementine and Duck would have loved something like this to play on. Kids used to like that old swing even more than the tour sometimes. <laughs> I'll bet. They're kids. Um, maybe- how did it- how did it break? How did it break? Got busted the first day those things showed up. Thank God no one was on it at the time. Looks like it just needs a new board for the seat and some rope. Cool. Make it safe for Clem and Duck. Yeah, and let's do that because I want to do something nice for Clementine and Duck. Here. Too much trauma with them. I, I don't, you know, I want something, something they can be happy about. That was easy. That, he, he just shoved the whole board into his pocket. All right, you know, that's how that works. <laughs> what the fuck? Hello? Oh, there she is. Well, hi there, Lee. What can I do for you, sweetie? Can I help you with anything around the house? I think with Danny's help, I've got things pretty well squared away in the kitchen. Okay, but that's feel good. Free to check with Andy. He's got a lot of weight on his shoulders these days, so I'm sure he'd love any help he can get. Uh, how many? What? You know what? How this place looks amazing. The family's done an amazing job of keeping this place up. Well, considering. Oh, just, thank you, Lee. The boys and I have tried to adapt as best we can, but we still keep some of our old routines to help remind us of better times. When will dinner be ready? It'll be a while still, but it'd be worth it. Trust me. Okay, but I know, because, like, they said they run tours at their farm, so where are your staff? What happened to the rest of your staff? Oh, we've had our share of tragedy here, just like everyone else, I'm sure. Some of our staff took off to find their family as soon as they heard the news. Yeah, that makes sense. The few that stuck around, well, we lost most of them the first night those things showed up here. It was oh, a tough night. How's your family? How's your family been holding up since, uh... You know. All my boys have been my saving grace. They both left their jobs and came home to help out after the I imagine so. You happened. go straight to your family. I think it was hardest on Andy. Dan was always more of a mama's boy. But don't tell him I said that. <laughs> okay, I don't want to be creepy and ask like how many rooms are in the house because it seems like we're intruding, so I'm not going to ask if that. If anything comes up that I can help with, feel free to let me know. Well, Lee, I sure appreciate it. Well, I'll be damned. Mama's gonna be thrilled to see that old swing all fixed up. Hopefully our kids will like it too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't wait for Clementine to did use it. She's gonna be so darling? happy. Oh, How did she hear God. that? What? Did you do that? Just trying to help out a bit around here. You know, I used to push Andy and his brother out here on that swing every night when they were kids. Seems like such a long time ago now. Yeah, it does. Hi. Hi. Well, I'm glad you guys decided to help us out. I noticed back at the motel that you folks are pretty well armed. Been stockpiling, huh? Um, how many weapons do you have? Or can say no one fucks with us. We've scraped together a good supply in the last few months. How about yourselves? What kind of protection do you have around here? We collected a few guns to protect ourselves, but we really only use them when we go off the property. Okay, when we're inside so the perimeter, the fence is all we need to keep us safe. Um, 
Are we your first guests? We can't be the first people you've invited up to the dairy. Well, no, we've made similar deals with other folks, uh, trading for gas and food, but ultimately they moved on, mm -hmm. looking for the people they lost contact with. All right, makes sense. An electric fence is enough to keep out walkers? Walkers? <laughs> is that what you call them? <laughs> That's good. Uh, the old one wouldn't have, but Mac, he was our foreman, he figured out how to amp it up with the generators. Hmm. We used to sit out here some nights and watch the sons of bitches sizzle and pop when they got too close. Closest thing to entertainment these days, I guess. That's these kind of fucked up if you are think about it. These generators are enough to power the whole dairy? We got lots, and we gotta keep trading for fuel as much as we can, but they all work together to do the trick. Uh, like us. Okay, hang on. We'll get to know the place for a minute. Okay, well, we gotta secure the perimeter, so don't take too long. I wonder, can we look in here? Hey, uh, what are you fixing to do around the barn? I just wanted to look. To, why is he so, like, just jumpy? Just trying to find more ways to help out. Well, I appreciate that. Tell you what, we'll find you something to do over there after we get back from securing the perimeter. Sounds good. You, you know, you're really shady, I'm just saying. Let me talk to fucking Mark, though. So what have you found out? Is this looking like a good place to stay? I didn't get a chance to check out the barn area yet. I'll do that after helping Andy get the perimeter secured. Hey, uh, don't mess with that, okay? The thing's a little tricky. I wasn't going I don't want to spend half a day trying to fix it again. Okay, fair enough. I just wanted to look at it, but, you know, whatever. Wonder how much food they've got in there. Hopefully we'll find out. Generator might be a problem. Andy said it's tricky and repairing it takes him a while. Still, it's a hell of a lot more secure than the motor is. That is true. The fence is no joke, at least around the house. I'm looking forward to seeing the rest of it. I'll keep looking around. All right, keep me posted. All right, I guess it's time to secure the perimeter, so Mark let's go. and I can help you with that perimeter now. Oh, good. The fence will stop a walker in about three or four seconds, but it's overloaded if we leave the husks out there. You know, Mark and I can clear the fence ourselves if you want to stay here and finish up with the generators. Well, that'd be great. I'll turn off the northwest section, and uh, if you guys could strip them off and look for any weak points, well, that'd be a big help. Okay. Sounds easy enough. Stay attentive. You never know. We'll be fine, right? Right? This is a big plot of land, which is kind of concerning. So how's the place looking? Is it safe enough for us to stay? If we can? It's pretty amazing what they've done with this dairy, but let's see what it takes to secure this fence before drawing any conclusions. I can't wait until everyone's out here. Everyone besides Larry. He wouldn't be such I mean, a pain in Larry. the ass if you weren't telling him we were talking behind his back all the time. Yeah, I, Mark, I'm, you I'm fucking sorry. big mouth. Right. He's a piece of shit. I try to be civil at least. You just, like, blab to I everybody. I try to be civil at least. He's too busy being cranky to notice. I'm pretty sure he notices when you open your big yes, mouth. Man. God, all right. This one looks very crispy. Ugh. At least it's dead. it's dead. She kind of makes sure. Come on, let's push it off. I think I gotta take this arrow out first. Why is there an arrow though? Disgusting. Okay, let's just push this dude off. And oh. later. Come on, I'm sure there's still a few more. Once this fence is patched up, this place will be a fortress. God. Also, I don't like the fact that he's acting like we already anymore. own this place, too. It's dangerous, though, but it's use- uh, I should say, it's useless without gas. Yeah, well, it's useless without gas. We might need food, but the St. John's need gas, too. Not many drivers these days, Lee. It doesn't we could matter. Up a year's worth it's of dangerous to get out gas. So what's your take on the brothers? They seem to have this place tied down pretty well. I mean... What do you mean by that? What do you mean by that? I don't know. They seem decent enough. I just want you to know that I've got your back if anything goes down. Okay, I'll, at least I can count on you for that. There's but I can't one. count on you to like, keep a secret. I see it. Okay. Just push this one off of here. Nice booty shorts. Oh, oh alright. Uh, I guess you don't want to like, go, huh? <laughs> Ew. Just gonna... Uh. You never get used to the smell, do you? <laughs> nope. I don't want to know what that smells like. That's disgusting. Christ. I can't stop thinking about dinner. Would have been nice to get some of those rations. I get hungry too, you know. 
I want to punch him in the face. We'll go ask for more to eat after this is done. All right. I can suck it up. I can suck it up, but Come I'm just going to bitch to you, I see where they're getting making in. the hard decisions. This I understood you earlier. Knock it over, God to get damn through. it. He's tangled up in there. I'm starting to hate good. him a little bit more than Larry. Come on, help me get Larry's this thing back in place it. so we can get Mr. Crispy off of here. I think we'd get better leverage from the other side. Good idea. <clears throat> okay. God, I have to climb over this crap. Little help here, Lee? I'm trying. Alright, let's go. Fuck. What just happened? The fences are on. Why? Why the hell would he turn the fence on? He knows we're out here. Ah. Ooh, ah. I forgot about that. Oh what no. Light to us. Okay, you let's just like hide over here. Jesus. We had an agreement. Now you're fucked. Who the what? fuck is that? No idea. This is the same guys fuck. in the forest, so. Now what? With a fence on that gate, it's our only way out. Where's our food, you asshole? Where are these people? Oh Get dear. Okay. Open. What about our arrangements? Can we Get push this? Damn it! Hang on, hang on, hang on. No fuel. Of course. You Can we put it in like neutral or something? Forever. Oh, we can talk to them. We're not your enemy. Whoa. Okay. Nope. Nope. Show yourself. Why would it go? I see him. Oh, Over that's there. the reason why. Jesus. Okay, now, let's try this again. I got one of you. Come on, Lee. Behind the tractor. Oh my God. Did you really think you could fuck with us? God damn it, hurry up! Come on, if we can reach the gate, we can get through this fence and back to the house. Ah! Shit, that hurts. Alright, we're just gonna hide behind the tractor. These guys kinda suck, they're just they just keep missing, don't they? You didn't deliver the good! I see how we're gonna take what's up. What happened? Shit. It's one of the dead we pushed down earlier. Gonna have to move it. All right, we're gonna just have to move you. Uh, excuse me, sir. You can't be lying there right now. All right, we're just gonna we're just gonna move along again. Oh my god, another fucking body! Another one? How many of those things did we push down? Give us the food! God damn it! You got lucky that time. Ah, it's still alive! Oh no, 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 thank you, no, thank you. Damn it, get off! Ew! You okay? Yeah, fair. Okay, we're just gonna, just gonna. Oh god, it's chasing us! <laughs> Ew! It's so gross! Uh, come on, come on! Oh, at least they got that one. Let's get out of here. Yeah, let's leave the gate open so they can come in. You little bitch, you turned on the fence. Lee, what's wrong? Uh, fucking the electric fence came on. Some people started attacking from the woods, and we got trapped between them and the fence. Holy shit, are, are you okay? I heard Mark yelling. Thought y'all were giving me the all clear. Man, I am real sorry. Oh my lord, what happened to you, sweetheart? He yelled Those after he got shot, the after the Mama, fence yeah. went on. I'll be alright once it's out. But oh, fucking God dick. damn, it hurts. Hey, y'all. Mark, oh my god, what happened? He got shot oh, with right. an arrow. Christ, are you gonna be okay? Yeah. Just oh, when fine. we bring the whole group over, oh my just... god. And then Larry's gonna bitch oh, at us. Oh no, honey, come on, Brenda's got you. Come on inside now. We'll have you all sorted out. Well, you must be the best. What kind of shit is this? Shut we up, ran Larry. Into some people on the way up here. Bandits, I guess. I think it was them that attacked us. They gave us a lot of problems in the beginning. Killed a bunch of our farmhands. 
We were able to get them to stop by making a deal. You do about these people? Food for protection. Not like we had much of a choice, but they did stop hassling us. God damn it. Carly said this place was locked down tight. Um... It was just a fluke thing. Yeah. You can't stop assuming there aren't bad people out there. What the hell do you mean I a mean, fluke? It could have happened anywhere. Oh, actually, I didn't mean to say that. To damn it. The motor in. Listen, we may have had an agreement with those people, but we will not stand for this shit. Ain't no way we're gonna let those sons of bitches get away with this. You know where these assholes are? They're hard to pin down, but I think I know where at least one of their camps are. When okay. you're ready to go scope out that bandit camp, come find us. Sure thing. Bandits? Are you serious? This place isn't safe. We can't stay Yeah, because the motor inn is so safe. much safer, Lily. This place is a hell of a lot safer than that motor inn. I think all of us and our guns can handle a couple of punks with bows and arrows. What we need to do is find a way to get our whole group out here to stay. Take this place over if we have to. Oh, Jesus cool your Christ. jets there, Rambo. These are nice people. Let's not do anything to get us thrown out before we eat. I'm gonna head out and help Dan deal with these bandits. You guys should try to make friends with Andy and Brenda while I'm gone. Well, that's easy. I got charm coming out of my ass. Yeah, that's real charming, Dad. Yeah. Where's Ben and Carly? Since Carly and Ben ate some of the food on the way to get us, she volunteered to stay behind and watch the motor in until we get back. Okay. Well, I'm ca Carly's capable of herself, so it'll be fine. Hey, kids. Look what Lee got working for you. A swing! Yay! I love swings! Just like at my treehouse! Come on, Doc! Thanks, Lee. You're the best! Aww. Yeah! Of course, anything for Clementine. No wonder you're the leader of your group. What? Get wrecked, Lily, get wrecked. I like how Kenny's approving. <laughs> okay, let's check up on the kids. I want to make sure Clementine is okay. And of course, Doc is the one swinging on there first. Hey, Clem, do you like the swing? Yeah, it's fun. Thanks for fixing it. You're welcome. Will you push me on it? Of course I sure. will. Happy to push you on the swing. Mind if Clementine takes a turn? All right, Duck. Let Clementine have a try for a bit. Okay. <laughs> Don't be selfish now. All right, time to push Clem. Uh, how are you doing, Clem? How are you Clem? holding up, Clementine? I'm okay, I guess. Are you okay? Yeah. I'm just. I'm glad that she asked you. Is Mark going to be okay? He got lucky out there. Could have been a lot worse. Are you going to find the people who hurt Mark? Well, we have to make sure they don't hurt anyone else. Be careful. I want you to stay lucky, too. Aww. Ever since I met you, I've had good luck, so don't worry. Okay. I, I love her. What, what do, you do you think about the, the dairy? It's pretty. It reminds me of how things used to look before. Yeah, it does. Do you think things will ever get back to how they were? Uh... Uh, yeah. sure. I'm not sure when. I want to be hopeful with Clementine right now. Got to get back to normal. That's good. I hope it's soon. Yeah, me too. If I'm being realistic, it's not going to. Don't worry. We're safe here now. As long as the bad people don't get me too, right? I won't let what happens. Nothing will happen to you, again. Clementine. Promise? I promise. All right, Clem. That's enough for now. Okay. Thanks for pushing me. Of, of course. course. It's all yours. Yeah! Okay, Doug, don't pop a gasket. <laughs> Alright, let me talk to Kenny. Hey, Ken, can I talk to you? I have to go around the swing to talk to Kenny. Jesus. You alright, dude? Hey. Hey, Lee. Found anything interesting? I was talking to Andy a bit earlier. Doesn't sound like they have too many guns around. They rely mostly on the fence to keep them safe. So long as you're on this side, things are alright. Provided the fence holds out. I don't think well, it's, the it's a good... It's not like a high enough fence, fence there's regardless no if there's like electricity that's around true. it. Well, it's good to know what we're working with here. Keep looking around. And let me know if you find anything else. Alright, bromance. Are you alright? How are you holding up? I hope they feed us, Lee. Soon. On the way over here, I was getting dizzy. Hands shaking, cold sweats. I thought I was gonna pass out. They've got food here. Yeah, but I'm not just talking about one meal, you know? No, I, I get what you're saying. Did Duck and Katja get here okay? No, well, it wasn't easy. Duck didn't look so good on the walk over to this place. Well, if everything works out, maybe he and Katja can have an easier life here. 
That's funny, considering you didn't seem too worried about Duck back at Herschel's farm. That's in the past, Kenny. Oh my god. Lots happened since then. Yeah, right. Kenny, don't, don't, don't start with me. I guess, uh, Lily isn't too thrilled about being here. I could give two shits about what Lily wants. Duck and Katja need food, and I'm not about to sit around that motor inn and watch them go hungry. You're with me on this, right? Of course. Yeah, of course. Lily's judgment is clouded. I, I agree, I agree more with Kenny, because, like, at this I'm point, Lily's kind around. of snapped. Don't wait too long to help or she's close that to snapping it more than Kenny It'd at this be a good point. opportunity to find out a bit Even more about the St. Kind of John's and their right relationship now, but... with those bandits or whatever. Right. I'll see what I can find out. Okay, so earlier he didn't want us going into the barn. Let's see if we can go in there now. Is this open? If there's not enough room in the house for all of us, I guess a few of us could camp out here in shifts. I mean, it's better, right? If there's not enough Damn it, we room can't open it. For all of us. Lee, oh my god, I'm so glad you two didn't get killed out there. Do you think Mark will be okay? I'm sure he's fine, know, he just has an arrow to the shoulder. Yeah? It's not too bad? He'll be fine. I've seen guys go through worse. How could you all bring us to this place? Oh my god, here we go again. I take it you and Kenny didn't exactly make up on the way here. I tried seeing things from his point of view, having a wife and kid and everything, but gambling with your family's life is pretty stupid if you ask me. Hey, thanks for backing me up this morning at the motel. I know I came down on you guys pretty hard, but you do agree with the way I'm running things, right? I mean, I don't know about that. I don't know, Lily. Both you and Kenny have been very important in keeping the group together. Yeah, well, if I don't keep us alive, there won't be a group to keep together. Oh my goodness. All right. I don't have to talk to this jackass. Okay, good. <laughs> I really don't want to talk to him. Fellas, how you feeling, Lee? Look, I'm really sorry you almost got killed out there. Uh, yeah, you're so sorry told about you that. How dangerous it was. No shit. <laughs> you saw what they did to your buddy. Nobody's safe here until we oh start God. to fight back. But how? The two of us should go out and do some recon. Then we'll all mount up for some revenge. Okay. Hell yeah. Who the fuck are these people in the woods? Yeah. We don't know. We think some of them used to work at the big box up the way. Save lots. Yeah. Anyway, they're nutty as all hell and get mad when they're hungry. So are you ready so to head out there and find their camp? Sure, let's go. Yeah. It'll be a good opportunity to find out a bit more about what we're up against. Let's do it. I'll stay here and hold down the fort. Remember, we're just doing reconnaissance for now. No use getting ourselves killed. All right. Clam, we'll be right back, okay? Are you going now? Yeah, I'll be back soon, Clementine. Please be lucky. I Aww. will. Don't worry about me. I'll be fine. You just stay here and be safe. She's so cute. You can see how much she loves Lee, even though like they they just known each other for three months. Not yet. Okay, so far no one's here. I know it's around here. It's gotta be close. What? Oh, a soup can. Here. Ooh, there's a camp right oh, there. Oh shit, you found it? All right. It looks it looks empty, but you know, we could be wrong. Still should be careful though, regardless if no anyone is there or not. Seems like they don't have any food. You see anybody? No. Stay on your guard, though. Stay on your guard. Watch my back, Lee. Sure. I'm gonna check out the tent. And then there's a giant bear inside. <laughs> in there just <laughs> clear all right this camp's too small it can't be their main base 
That's what I was thinking. Take a look around anyway. There's probably some shit around here they stole from us. Alright, so it probably is just some random crap, but let's look around here. Nothing. Okay. In this box? Empty. Damn it. What? What is it? Uh, alright then. How about in here? Hmm. Looks like they were moving a lot of stuff. What's in the boxes? They're all from save lots. The first few days they told folks to gather to the save lots by the interstate. Uh, that probably makes Anything sense. Anything worth taking? We don't know whose camp this is. Well, they're empty cans, let's be real here. need a bunch of empty cans. <sighs> I'll pass. Oh! What is this Boxes now? This is from the dairy here. Probably the food we've been giving them. Fuckers cross the line. Why, why did you why did you hesitate there? What the heck is that? What do you find? It's a camera. A video camera. Let me see that. Battery's dead though. Oh, good. What else they got over here? Let's see if we can find anything useful and then get a move on. I see you handled that gun I lent you pretty well. You a hunter? No, but Lily keeps us all on a regular training schedule. Lily? I thought you were running things back there. <laughs> Lily's yeah, face like but, fuck. Uh, she's got the combat training. God, you know, sometimes a leader doesn't have to take care of everything, you know? Jesus Christ, anyway. Empty. But it looks like someone's been eating out of these. Okay, Recently. let's take a look at the tent. There's gotta be something in there, right? There's a kid here. Oh, man. Is this the kid? Probably, right? Jesus. There's a kid mixed up in this? Was more like. The hell's this? The hell? What? I still don't- Jesus. Shit! Your gun I still down. don't get how I ain't going the back. hat ended up there. You tell him Jolene ain't going back. Hey, we had a deal. No shooting as long as we gave you food. What the fuck happened? You had a deal with them. I ain't them. Oh, I know you. Is this the lady in the picture? I know what you are. And I know what you do. You don't know me. Steal my shit. Steal everything from um, me. We had a deal. What happened you here? people broke it first. Why are you alone up here? What happened to you? Well, that's a hell of a question, mister. They told me I'd be safe with them. Men who lived here. But it weren't safe. Not for me. And not for my girl. They didn't treat her nice. Not at all. They took her away into the woods. Oh, Wouldn't God. Where. And I faked them every way I could think. They just laughed. <laughs> so I killed them. And I'm staying here till she comes back to me. One way or another. She'll come back. Now maybe you didn't hear me last oh, time. Oh no, she snapped. When I asked you, sweet, so... put your damn guns down. I think this is just some you random lady in the same lot, so... I'm take this here cross Cause like, you can see from her uniform, right? Put arrow right through your eyeball. And into your goddamn brain. You're not men. You're monsters. All men are monsters. Take what they want and then destroy it all. Take Where did you get the hat, though? Take a little girl. It's all the fucking same to you. Where did you get this hat? The little girl. You stole it from her. So what if I did? You stole her from me. What? What the hell are you talking about? You know what? I changed my mind. I'm Maybe she's delusional and just thinks Clementine is her daughter. Yeah, right through. 
String them up on that tree. Then I'm gonna head down to that farm and shoot um, every about, goddamn no. person I see. We don't do Put that. Put down the crossbow. No, sir. I need it. I need it to kill you fuckers. <laughs> Go on. Tell him, boy. Tell him what you got in mind for. Oh. Yikes. You didn't really need to shoot her, though. God damn it! Uh, you murdered her. You straight up murdered that woman. Hardly. She had a crossbow pointed at my forehead. Well, you know, she's dead, so... <laughs> I guess it's for shot, the best, though. I guess? Right through the I don't forehead. know, though. That's good shooting right there. Still, Fuck. what a waste. So, that's it. We you straight up murder someone, if but you're talking here, about how clean of a shot you got. It's a good idea to go tromping Fucking through weird. the woods looking for them. So yeah, we head back. Once they see this, they'll get the message. Ew, there's like brain splattered all over the place. He's so creepy, isn't he? Still don't know how she got the hat though without anyone noticing her in the motel. Man, that was a hell of a ride, huh? Jesus, Danny. What? You ain't getting soft on them, are you? Not after what they did to your friend. It doesn't matter. You're, You're just back. acting like this is like. What happened? Handled it, Mama. Oh God, I can't. Anyway. This isn't what Terry would have wanted. Terry? My husband. Oh. Miss him every day. Then screw it up for everybody then, why oh, don't God, you? God, here we go again. Calm down, princess. I'll do it myself. Is that thunder? What's going on with them? Don't know. Squabbling looks like. A lot of tension with y'all, huh? Um... Uh, just don't mind them. I don't mind them. It's how they are. Each of them wants to be in charge, you know? Well, it's probably just the hunger talking. We all get a little testy. We'll fix that short. That's good. And Lee, don't worry your head about them bandits. I'm sorry you've seen more violence than I'd have thought in your short time, but you all are safe here. Don't worry. Okay. I think I'll go have a look around. All right, let's, let's go far. Dinner will be ready before you know it. No, let's go look and for Clementine. Thank your friend Koch again for me. She and the kids are in the barn with the cow. That woman is a lifesaver. Hi, Clementine. Okay, just shut the door on me. <laughs> anyway, we should give her her hat back. It's still weird that that lady had it, but you know. And this this asshole just creeps me out. Even even though I know what well, happens, she's just creepy from the moment I, I saw him. To use her today. My girl here. Um, you really like that gun. You really like that gun. What's not to like? Just, I'm gonna call him out. It's creepy. Just kind of creepy. That's all. Times like these, a 243 will keep you warmer at night than any lady I ever know. Um... Okay. You guys are pretty out in the sticks here. Hard to find. You get many visitors? Not anymore. Bandits, of course. Used to get these school kids on tours back before the dead time. He's so creepy, isn't he? And then he's just like, not anymore. <laughs> this place oh my god. Used to have more. They get hungry too. Or sick. Got your doctor friend here now, though. You guys must trade for a lot of fuel to keep the generators running, right? People get hungry, and a few loaves of bread fetch a high price. Y'all are luckier on this side of the deal now. I'm gonna go wait for supper then. Yeah, I'm just gonna go. It'll be a good one. I'm I'm just gonna go away from you now because you're creeping me out, but you know. It's all good. Hey, so what happened at the camp? Did you guys find any more of those guys that hurt Mark? 
just some like crazy lady, but I'm gonna tell them the truth of what happened. We found a woman in the woods. She was talking all crazy and had a crossbow. So Danny killed her. Holy shit. Was she one of those bandits? I honestly I don't know. no, she's I think not. She was trying to tell me something. But then he just went off. I don't like this, Lee. I still say we should go back to the motor inn where we at least know what to expect. And and then this is I agree with her, like honestly. What were you and Kenny arguing about when I came back from the camp? He's losing it, Lee. He comes over and starts talking about searching the barn and that these people are hiding something. But you told him to mind his own goddamn business, right? That just we contradicts what she still. said earlier. Remember, she's just like, she gets like a creepy feeling about this place. Are. Yeah, the Kenny wants to it, look we just around need to skip and she doesn't agree with that. Food to go. But I'm starting to think your friend over there has another agenda. No, 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 no. Kenny gets the right idea. I'm gonna go. Just don't get too nosy. These kinds of people are usually pretty protective of their privacy. Yeah, and we don't need you poking your nose where it don't belong. Yeah, well, your giant nose takes up the whole screen, so I mean, what can I tell you? It's okay, Clementine. You can pet her. Yeah, Clem. It's okay, girl. I like how she looks to leave for, like, a, you know, like a reassurance. Oh, that's sweet. Whoa. <laughs> Katya says Mabel could have her baby tonight. We'll see, Clementine. What's this thing? Daddy said it's called a salt lick. Yeah, but don't lick it. It's gross. Clementine, did you lick it? Did you lick it? I don't know. <laughs> She's so cute. <laughs> oh my god. Let's give her her hat back. Clementine. My hat! You found it! But how did it go missing? I knew you'd Aww, find it. Look you at her. You said you would. She's Listen, so cute. Did you give your hat to anyone? No. Did you see any strangers around the motor inn who might have taken it? No. Why? That's weird. It's probably nothing. Just let me know if you ever see anything like that. So okay, then how did it go I missing? I don't hey, understand. Lee, the fuck? Do you think you'll ever have kids? Uh uh someday i'd like to someday maybe a little girl like you that's nice you'd be a good daddy oh well, thanks for finding my hat you're welcome oh, do you so want to pet the cow with me nah but you go on ahead oh she's so cute how do you like that cow clem she's pretty hey doc you okay have i missed anything no not really hmm <laughs> It smells funny in here. <laughs> like shit, right, Lee? <laughs> hey, don't use swear words, okay? <laughs> Damn it, Clementine! <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh my god. I, I've never seen that dialogue before. That's so funny. How do you like that cow, Clem? She's pretty. Oh my god. Oh, I'm gonna die. <laughs> oh god. Hey there, Andy. Yeah. We met this woman up in the woods. She seemed to know your brother. Uh, yeah, he, uh, he probably talks a little more than he ought to. All right. Um, when do you think, uh, we might eat? Hungry, huh? <laughs> Don't worry. Mama's cooking up some good grub. How's the cow? Well, better now we got Doc on the case. Thanks. Okay, that's yep. that's great. Let me let me talk with Ken. Kenny? Okay, I guess he's not here. Uh, <laughs> Kenny was checking out the barn because he thinks something is wrong here, which I agree because the other brother's kind of creepy, so just make sure nothing weird is happening in here. Uh, okay. Looks like a bunch of old dirty clothes. Ooh, smells pretty foul. Why would you leave them in the barn, though? Usually, like... I, I get it, you can leave whatever you want, but like, still, that's kind of weird. That's blood, right? Totally not suspicious. I can see why Kenny was poking around. It's a you lot, found though. It too, huh? Hey! Lee, Romance, finally. Something behind this door. Yeah. I got a quick look. They got boxes of stuff and something metal and sharp. Don't get paranoid. It's my job to be paranoid, Lee. I got my whole family on this farm right yeah, now. Yeah, I agree with Kenny, How though. about you? What about Clem? It's true. Um, I'll protect her no matter what, Kenny. I'll don't don't think I what. won't. I know you will. Look, 
That guy with Katya, what's his name? He locked it up real tight the second Yeah, because he didn't in. want us going into the I barn earlier. heard a noise back there, Lee. What? My point is, we gotta know for sure. So go find a hammer or something, and I'll have this thing off in a second. You back me up in case them farmers come running. Hang on, man. Think this through. You smash the lock. Then what if it turns out you're wrong? You just fucked your chance to get a good meal in those kids. How about we do it, like, after Use dinner head, or something? <laughs> All right, Professor. What'd you have in mind? Let me have a look at what we're dealing with first. We don't need to smash the locks. We can just, like, hey, unscrew it. Lee, you know how to pick a lock, right? No. Why would you say that? <laughs> well, you're, you know, urban? <laughs> Saying what I think you're saying. <laughs> Can this he know? Florida. Crazy shit just comes out of my mouth. Sometimes. Oh my god, that was so racist. <laughs> Jesus Christ. What? See those screws? Instead of breaking Jesus. the padlock, we can just oh take god. off the assembly. Have yeah, we should just unscrew it up, fucking together. smash it. That never happened. All right. Sounds like you I'm got not pick locking either, just because we is black. black. Yeah. Like what? Andy. Shit, I, th I thought that was Danny. Whatever. Can I help you boys find something? Uh, um, uh, just, hey, what's behind this door? Let's be direct. What's behind this door, Andy? Just tools. We keep it locked so the people in the woods don't try and grab them. Uh, we'd be dead without them. Okay. Hey, uh, do me a favor. Don't fuck around with this door, okay? Just, you know, mama gets nervous. Andrew, I need sure. your help again. No problem. Right away, Doc. Okay, Kenny, we gotta we gotta unscrew this crap. So we gotta find like a distract Andy to get him out of the barn. We'll uh we'll finish talking later. All right, Larry. So you're trying to get some digits you ain't in? Along with Larry. <laughs> He's just a big old sweetheart, ain't he? Uh, uh don't sure. Know if I would have used those words exactly. Don't judge, honey. This world is bringing out the worst in people. But if you really look, you'll catch a glimpse of humanity every now and then. Uh-huh. So, what's in the barn, so, yo? <laughs> what do y'all keep in the barn back there? Besides cows, I mean. Well, someone's getting a little curious, aren't they? I yeah, because you locked it up. It's nothing interesting, I can promise you that much. Just some odds and ends. Takes a lot to run a farm, you know. Okay, how's Mark? How's Mark doing in there? Best patient I ever had. Oh, my boys get so much as a scratch and start hollering. He could definitely teach them a thing or two about being tough. I'd well, that's good. I'd still like to check on him. You're gonna have to trust me on this, Lee. I've helped stitch my share of wounds. I know what I'm talking I, about. I mean, still, I mean, it's not like we don't trust you. Um, but, you know, we just want to make sure Mark is okay. We ran into some trouble out there. I was just glad you two weren't hurt. Those bandits just don't know when to quit. But my boys, they can hold their own. But it was some lady, though. Your boy is nuts. <laughs> Before she died, we met a woman out there at her camp. She wasn't one of those bandits. Sounded like they did something pretty bad to her. And your marauders are still out there. I think all them folks out in the woods had drug problems. What does that have to do with anything? What? It means you can't trust them. Any of them. I think I'll go have a look around. Kind of peaceful, Fuck. Her, ain't it? Enjoy it while you can. You'll probably start hearing those monsters frying against the fence before too long. Why is this whole family so creepy? Like, if you're trying to hide something, at least try something better. God. Sweet. I'm just gonna borrow this for a second. Unscrew all of this. There you go. Yeah, now we're gonna fuck with the generator so Andy can get the hell out of here. There, that should do it. Okay, let's see what happens now. Fucking Danny, where'd he find this piece of shit? Oh, fucking thing threw a belt. Damn it, dog. Oh, ah, oh, son of a fuck. Oh, this take forever. All right, now he's distracting. We can get in there. Just gonna casually walk into the barn. Not a big deal. Not like we're trying to open it or anything. Just gonna check up on the cow. Hey, 
Alright. Now is the perfect time to strike. Kenny? I picked up something I think could help with the lock. Nothing to stop you now. Alright, keep an eye out for me, alright? I'm gonna fucking unlock this door. Damn it, what the hell? Mom, Dad, dinner time! It's dinner time! Okay, honey, let's get that. Dad! Dad! Wait, damn come it, Doc! On, let's eat! Kenny, come along, honey. Kenny, come on. Don't make the children wait. I'll make an excuse for you. Okay. Get that thing off. Get, you have my back, alright? I trust you, Kenny. It's the bromance. <laughs> alright, we gotta get this thing off quickly. Okay, 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 okay. Fuck, fuck, come on. Come on, Lee, come on. Alright. And then, we're just gonna take this off. Drop the screws. We don't care. They can fix it later anyway. They probably know we're opening this door anyway. Let's be real here. That does not look good. So, first impressions, anyone who hasn't played Boy, this game, what do you think you is in there? Bell? Dinner time. Okay. So, um, why is there so much blood in there? Why was there so much blood in there? Look, we have food here, but Danny and I still gotta do a lot of hunting to keep everyone fed. When we catch something in the woods, we skin it and dress it back there. Mama doesn't like us to make a mess in the house. So you see, nothing to worry about. Okay. Sure, we'll just say that nothing's worrying about this at all. Did you notice the bear traps? Oh, okay, we'll just teleport across the screen. Oh, oh Brenda, you wow. are an angel. Oh, Excuse boy. a mess, we had to block the back door after a walker got upstairs. Don't worry. That was a while ago, and I ain't been back inside since. Everybody, right, did you see that he had a gun in his back? Oh, this is a delight. I could eat a horse. Where's Mark? Now, don't you worry about him. I've already brought some food up. You just let him rest. Okay, as long as he's fine. Mind if I wash my hands first? Bathroom's right outside in the hall. And be sure to get under your nails. You've been mucking around in the dirt all day. All right. Just gonna go wash my hands. Alright, let's snoop around a little bit. What is in here? I could use Shaving a shave. Shaving cream. Gauze pads. Gauze. Some kind of lotion. Okay, so nothing like out of the ordinary yet. Let's go upstairs. How's Mark? Also, there's a wire. Did you see that? Leading upstairs? Let's go, let's go. Come on, Lee. Alright, no one heard that creaky wooden floors. Great job. Oh, God, come on. Nothing, nothing weird, right? What is in here? Because the, the wire is going over here. What is this? What do they need so much morphine for? Candles. Smart. Uh-huh, but there's a lot of, like, morphine and shit. Musty as hell. I guess someone what is needed some first aid recently. Ugh, what is this stuff? Looks like a bunch of medical waste in here. IV tubes, saline. Uh, what, what dairy farmers need with this kind of stuff? It's gross. What now the there's hell? a light. Okay, that's a little bit weird. Let's go and look investigate that. She said Mark is sleeping upstairs, so let's check on him. Mark? Mark, where's Mark? Where the hell is Mark? But Brenda said he was up here resting. Oh god. And then there's blood on the floor. Is that blood? Mark. Oh dear lord. <laughs> it's 
so, uh... Bark's behind this door. Huh. Yep. Yeah. Um, they're cannibals, everybody. <laughs> if that wasn't obvious Please. already. Bark. Ah, oh, and the top of Bully's legs. Brothers. What the hell happened to your legs, man? Don't eat dinner. Ah, uh, ew! <laughs> it's so creepy. Oh no 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 Clementine Clementine no 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 she is not eating that no 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 Lee hurry up please go I oh fuck okay uh no ew oh god that's disgusting don't Clementine no no oh thank God Lee Jesus man oh no and Duck's eating it oh sit your ass down Lee this lady has made you a meal. Yeah, Lee, what's gotten into you? He just had a start. He could use I'm gonna be honest. Manners. I'm gonna be completely honest. Mark is upstairs with his fucking legs cut off. You're eating him. That's crazy. What the hell? You're scaring the kids, Lee. Lee, what the hell is wrong with you? Don't indulge him, Lily. There's always something with this guy. Shut up, Larry. Mom, I was We we need that. to leave right we now. We need to get the kids and everyone out of here. We need to go now. Everything could have turned out okay. This guy's the one who tipped everyone off. Like when the first time anyway. I played this episode, I knew something favorite. was wrong because of that Settle guy. down, honey. Growing up in rural Georgia, you're taught not to waste. Oh, it's God. how I was raised and how I raised my boys. Now you got monsters roaming around that do nothing but eat people. And for what? To continue to rot till they eat some more. We think we can put that meat to better use. You're oh, sick, dude. You're all sick. Sick in the head. Lee, that's not a very nice I don't give a shit. You're eating my friend. I'm gonna be rude as hell, you. Andy is right. We go after folks who were gonna die anyways. One way or another. Like y'all. Uh, okay, we need to get out of here. Uh, Kenny, get, Kenny, your, get gun. your gun. Kenny, no! Nobody's going anywhere. Fuck. We got lots of use for y'all right here. What the fuck? The fucking yeah, now what are you doing? Put your guns down! We're walking out Uncle of here! Near my fucking right. family. I don't want to die. Okay, Why everyone, it'll be okay. Eat? Everyone, everything will be okay. Try to try to calm down, love Clementine Lee. especially. Lee! You yeah. son of a bitch, do not touch her, I swear to god. You fucker. Fucker, I'll tear you apart! Oh god. This is very unpleasant. <laughs> Please. Uh. Uh. Oh. 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 Open the goddamn door. You can't keep us in here. <laughs> Oh, Open no. up! I will tear you fuckers Stop apart with my bang. bare hands! We gotta find another way out of here! <laughs> Ew, did Lily eat Yo, Mark? Yo, shit! <laughs> fucking bastards! <laughs> Open this door, goddammit! <laughs> I will knock the Please, goddamn Dad, door down! Stop. It, hey, Clem. It was a person. They tried to make us eat a person. But you didn't do it. No. The rest of us did, goddammit! Oh, shut you up, Larry. You drag your feet! Come on, Dad. Now's not the time. Um, are you okay? You okay, Clementine? They... they didn't hurt you, did they? Mm -mm. Open up! Lee, those psychos have my family, and we're stuck in a damn meat locker! We gotta get the fuck out of here! Don't worry, this Kenny. We'll get out. This goddamn thumb sucker was the one who brought us here! Will you all just shut the fuck up? I'm scared. Don't it's okay. Be, it's okay. It's gonna be okay. I'm gonna find us a way out of here. Don't worry, Clementine. Everything will be no, alright. You're worse than the walkers! Dad, please! Okay. Um, let me make sure she's alright first. Don't give up. We're gonna find a way out of here. Can I help? Sure, honey. Of course. You keep your eyes open for exposed screws or loose panels. Anything we can pry away to open a passage out of here. Okay. Come on, Clem, you're smart. Please settle down! I'll, I'll rip your goddamn heads off! Alright, let's see. There'll be a hole behind these pallets. Nope. No such luck. I can? 
It's got Katya and Duck, Lee. Those fuckers have Don't my worry, Kenny, Kenny, I, I swear. We're gonna, gonna get, get them out of here. And find them. There's more of us on the Lily, way. are you okay? Your dad's not making things any easier for us. Open the fucking dad, door! Dad, stop! God damn it! They're not gonna open the door! You, um, you this air vent. Gives you the right to chop people into I'll, I'll break that damn door down. Dad, you can't get. Uh, uh oh. Uh, Easy. Uh, oh God. Dad. Uh oh. No. Dad, come on. Dad. Oh God, he stopped breathing. I think he's had a heart attack. Shit. Is he dead? He's not dead! Somebody help me! Uh oh, oh no, I oh no! If he's dead. He's not dead! Oh, I can't no, oh, don't! What has to happen, Lee? Think about it. You saw that poor bastard at the motel? How fast he turned? What are you saying? Lily, I'm sorry. I truly, truly am. But in a few minutes, we're gonna be stuck in a locked room with a six foot four, three hundred pound, seriously pissed off dead guy. Fuck you! We can bring him back! Lee! We'll mourn him later, but right oh, now we have no. to keep him from coming back. No! God damn it, Kenny! He's not dead! Okay. Maybe, Maybe you're... you're right. No, God I have damn to agree it. with Kenny, My dad honestly. Worse than this. Look, Kenny, back at the drugstore when we all thought Duck was bitten, I gave him the benefit of the doubt. Maybe we should do the same now. That was different. Duck wasn't bitten. But come on! We know this guy's not gonna make it. Remember what Ben said. Gotta destroy the brain. Oh no. I don't know. Clementine's in here. On this one. You gotta have my back this time. God damn it, Lee. I need you. Please help me. Come on, Dad. Okay. Come on. Hang on one second. I'm sorry. I need to pause here. <laughs> okay. If I'm being completely real here, I side with Kenny mainly because, yes, Larry had a heart attack. Sure, it's possible you can bring him back, but in. The uncertainty of the, the knowing the, the fact that everybody has the, the virus within them, so they'll turn into a walker no matter what. You can't exactly risk Larry being in the room with him. He's 300 pounds. Larry, I mean, Kenny's right, and he's six feet tall. He could kill everybody in that room. So, as terrible as the situation is, I gotta side with Kenny. That's my opinion, though. Wait, Tell me what you guys did, though. Wait. You're right, Kenny. Let's get this you out. You fucking monsters! Both of you! I don't want to see! Oh no, Clementine, don't no, look! No. Oh, no <laughs> Get off me! Don't do this! Uh, no! No! I'm no. sorry, Lily! Don't let go of me! Ah, oh, fuck. No, oh, please. God. This is like. This is so bad. No! <laughs> Holy shit. God help us. Um, I'm sorry. I don't know you we... fucking touch me. <laughs> oh no, Clementine. Clementine. Clem. You okay? Why, Lee? Lily said he wasn't dead. Oh, Clementine, I know, I know. He, we couldn't, uh, we couldn't take that chance, though. I'm sorry, we couldn't take that chance. You understand why we had to do this, Clementine. So he won't turn into one of those monsters. Yeah, that's exactly that's why. Right. <laughs> oh, I feel bad about this. I know. And I don't want Clementine to see it, but right she now. has to. It's I fucked need up you as to that be is. strong. Think about something else, something hopeful. Like what? Like, like your walkie-talkies, your dad. How about your walkie-talkie? Those pretend talks with your mom and dad, don't those make you feel better? Sometimes. We're gonna get out, right? Of course, we're getting the hell out of here. Out? I'm working on it. Okay, this is really fucked up, but Ken? You, uh, you think maybe we were too hasty? Only one important thing right now. Getting the fuck out of here. We did what we had to. It is. It's just... Oh, God. It's just you and me. Lily's in no condition to help us rescue your family. Considering what just happened, she'd probably side with the St. John's against us. Okay. Well, this air conditioning unit is the best there option. There ought to be an air duct behind this unit. Maybe big enough for one of us to fit through. I don't know, Lee. 
Seems like a long shot. Does the air conditioner come off? I think I could take it off. We need the I screws. Had something to remove the screws. The multi tool. Of course they took it. Shit. Maybe there's something else we could use. I've got a rock. <laughs> yeah, a rock won't help. <laughs> I'm Clementine. Oh, <laughs> You're you so funny. Ah, uh, we know who has a coin. Larry. He mentioned it earlier in this episode. Ah, oh, fuck. <laughs> Lily, I'm, I'm sorry. Don't talk to me, Lee. Don't fucking talk to me. I... D Come on, you gotta pull yourself together. You to pull yourself together. As, as screwed up Why? as this is. For your sake? No, so for you your own. feel better about... About what you did? For your own sake. Yeah. Right. Because you fucking care so much about me. I think I may have found a way out of here. But I need something to remove the screws on the air conditioner. If you had something I could use as a screwdriver, a coin or something. No. What oh about God. him? Look, I know this is a terrible time for it, but uh, back at the motor inn, Larry, Larry mentioned something about keeping. Oh, uh, we gotta like freaking loot his in corpse. Other words, my father's more useful to you dead than alive. If he was alive and had the key to getting us out of here, do you think he'd keep it to himself? What do you want? My blessing to loot his corpse? Essentially. Your permission. <sighs> Come on, we do gotta get out of here. Have to do. Oh God damn it! Oh no. Uh, I, Larry, I never liked you, but still, this is just messed up. Any idea which pocket he keeps his change in? You fucking vulture! Oh, shut up! We're trying to get out of here. Okay, let's just see what's in his pockets. Here we go. Alright, cool. Two quarters. And a dime. Alright, let's get the hell out of here, please. Move these screws and get this unit off. Does that actually work using coins to remove screws? I've never actually thought of if that would work or not. You got it? Yeah. Yeah, it's working. One more should do it. All right. Sweet, but that's There's very no tiny. Out, Lee. Uh, it's too small to fit through. I don't want to like shove Clementine in there without her consent. Room. It's too small for us to fit through. I can do it. She's so brave, Clementine. Uh, um, you don't have to do this if you, you know don't want you to. You don't have to do this, right? I know. I just want to go home. This will help us get back home. Oh my god, Clementine. <sighs> okay. Such a warrior. Nine-year-old. <laughs> Come on, you can do You're it. It'll be fine. What do I do when I get out? See if you can get to the other side of that door and open it. Okay. She's okay. She's okay. She's a brave girl. She can take care of herself. Are you okay, Clem? Are you okay? Did anyone see you? No, but there's a man outside. Great. Lily, we gotta go. Leave me alone. Lee, I can see him. It's not safe in here. For God's sake, Lee. Didn't even get to say goodbye. <sighs> all right, all right. Got an idea. Just hang on, okay? Stay here. Take care of Lily, okay? I will. Alright, I'm gonna trust that Clem will be alright with Lily. Who's out here? Oh, God. So they just killed a bunch of people in here and just ate them. That's what happened to their workers, honestly. They just killed them and ate them. I told you there was something up with this room. It's a goddamn human slaughterhouse. I know. Okay. Alright, before we leave, I think we can just take, like, some weapon, right? 
This one looks dangerous enough. <laughs> Ew, and then they kept it all in jars and stuff? It's gross. Ugh, I didn't think I'm gonna be sick. Did Clementine come from here? Maybe I shouldn't have sent Clementine through there. This room would give anybody nightmares. Oh my god. Yeah, she came out through, like, oh right god, above the what's sun. what's wrong with these people? So yeah, they were the ones who were setting the bear traps. Essentially, that's what happened with Ben's teacher. So, fucked Jesus. up. They were just Jesus capturing people. Your people. It's so gross. Sick bastards. All of them. Yep. Alright, Kenny. Ready? So what's the plan? That dumbass is so caught up in his own rant that we could probably sneak right up on him. Just okay. stick behind me in case anything goes down. When we get to the front, grab his gun. All right. Sounds good. Bromance. Okay. You ready? <laughs> yep. Let's go. Yeah, let's go. Fuck this Stay guy. Stay close. It's Danny, right? The creepy one. All right. All right. He has his gun. So we just need to get that away from him. All right. Let's go. It ain't right making me stay out here all night. I didn't do nothing. They just treat me like I'm some kind of screw up. Just gonna, just gonna. Hey, what are you doing outside the barn? Oh, Ooh, fuck. Just <laughs> guarding the place, like you said. Well, quit sitting out in the rain like a damn deer, though. Mama says we can't keep that many folks alive and not expect trouble. Pick one to keep and kill the rest. Can I pick each one to keep alive? Not the kid. Not enough meat on the tray. Wait, what? Oh, they're gonna keep whoever they want alive. Oh, I know, Mabel. This they is can look through the cracks, too. No, 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 I'm and not I doing that yet. It's okay, can Kenny. You can right look through out. the cracks if you want. <laughs> they never even look down. Lee, focus. Where's Danny? I don't know. Stop it. Oh, God. Do I even... Hey, keep your eye on him. What's he doing out there? I don't know. We'll take him out together. We'll take him out together. How? He doesn't know we're out. He's got to walk past us to get to the meat locker. We can take him out when his back is to us. See what he's doing now. Okay. This, this is going to be fine, right? <gasps> ah! Oh, God. Okay, that was close. So close. <laughs> Fuck you. God damn it. No! Oh, yes! A bromance! <laughs> Fuck him up. Yes! Fuck you. Now you know what it's like to be bear trap, bitch. Where's my family, asshole? You can't have them. We need the vet. No! Can't! Lee, come Go, on. go, Kenny, just go. Just go. I won't be far behind. You dick. Time for some revenge. What up? You see? You understand now, don't you? You can have me. It's how the world works now. Get part of yourself so others can live. No, that's not how that works. Cannibalism? No. Cannibalism is not the answer. Aren't the walkers eating enough of us? You gotta keep me alive. If you kill me, the meat gets tainted. You can't eat it. Ew, You're so they killed them when they were alive. You oh ain't my gonna goodness. Kill me. Just like he didn't kill Jolene. Oh. You don't have what it takes. <laughs> Fucking coward. Honestly, there's no point in killing. He's gonna die regardless, so... Ah. This is not how the world works now. You won't make me kill you. Asshole. Fuck you, Lee. She's holding you no gun. You murder my dad, but you leave this piece of shit alive? You're a fucking asshole. Oh my god, no, don't! Ah, oh, damn it! Maybe I should have killed oh him, god, I don't know. don't hurt him! That's gotcha! Clem, I'm sorry, don't look at me like that. Please, no! Lily, please, keep her safe. Ah, oh, fuck, I feel like I fucked up. I don't even remember what the choices I made the first time I played this episode. Oh god. Okay, I don't know where Kenny is. Kenny! Where'd he go? Shit. Is he at the house? Okay, this is creepy. We need to get over there, though. 
What is that? Oh god, no! The fucking walkers! Hey, Carly! Carly! Lee? And Ben! Thank Shh. god. They're Sorry, both okay. okay, that's good. We heard screams as we were coming up to the house. No, they fucking attacked, they attacked us, dude. Us. I knew it. I told you we couldn't trust them. Shit. How many of them are there? Two left. Where? Larry's dead. They chopped off Mark's legs and tried to feed them to us. Shit. Is everyone else okay? They've no. still got Duck and Katja in the house. And I don't know where the fuck Kenny is. All right. We're coming in to help. The main gate is too dangerous. Go around the fence and see if there's a back way in. I'll keep looking for Kenny. Do you have a weapon? I don't leave home without it. Yeah, Kenny. Ben, stick close. And Lee, be careful. Carly, I meant. Carly's a badass. <laughs> But seriously, where's Kenny though? Okay, let's try to oh, make him. Uh, I'm gonna take the boy and check around. No, please don't take my boy. Let's go, woman. Set him down. Oh, God I don't damn. Hurt you all. Yeah, Andy, right. You want to eat us instead? What's um, going on out there? Ted, Yeah, it's me. Yeah, it's me. <laughs> what a worse what a way to like intimidate him. God damn it, Lee. Lee! Get back! Don't come in here. Okay. Let her go, Brenda. Okay, okay, let's try try to be calm as possible. So I could kill Katya. Lee! Please don't you take another step! Brent, okay. Come on now, you know you don't want to do this. Just go away and leave us be! I'm just gonna slowly walk in the approach. Walk. Stop right there! I mean it! Okay, okay. It's fine. It's fine. Um, doesn't have. Put the gun down, bitch! Think about what you're doing. It <laughs> I doesn't know, it's have to end like this. I'll kill her, Lee! Oh, just look who's up go. at the stairs, though. Okay, you wanna back up with the stairs? That's fine with me, I don't care. Stay back! Okay. Don't do anything stupid! Now I'm not doing anything stupid, there. So let her go. Let her go, Brenda. Please, listen to him. It's fine. Just I'll keep going it. up the stairs. Please. Just keep going up the stairs, Brenda. A few more steps. It's okay. I don't wanna kill you, Lee! You just wanna eat Lee. Alright. Uh please don't. Please don't make this any worse. Just stop! Alright. Just keep, just keep going. Come on. A little bit more. Mark's up there. How did Mark get back up there? Oh! Yes! They took Doug! Where's Kenny? I said don't move, asshole! Don't you fucking hurt him! Oh my god! Let him go, goddammit! Oh, fuck you, That Andy. ain't gonna happen! Andy, go! Shut up! Oh. You fucking Andy. asshole! You can't! I can't believe you shot my brother. Who the my fuck bro. do you people think you are? Look at what you've done. Okay, calm down. Calm down. As much as I want to insult calm him, it's down. not gonna help. What for? Huh? All we wanted was some goddamn gasoline. <laughs> nice. Fucking dick, you fucking asshole! You think you can just take us out like that? Saying you only wanted gasoline, you wanted to kill everybody. Shit. Ooh. Oh no. Get up. Get the fuck up. No, get, get off, dude. Shit. Nope, nope, no, no, I don't wanna I don't wanna get electrocuted today. It's not a not a good day. It's raining and you know it's not a like not a good time. Lily, help! She's not gonna help me. Fucking asshole. God damn it. And then Clementine can't do anything either. 
Okay, you dick. Time to get off of me. I'm just gonna punch him once. Just once. That's all. I don't want to be- I don't want Lee to be, like, so ruthless right now. Ow! Fuck. Alright. Time's, uh, time to, you know... Shocking, isn't it, how this ended? <laughs> you like my pun there? <laughs> God damn it. Oh, he's still alive. Is that all you got, Lee? <laughs> You ain't shit! Uh-huh. It's over! Fuck you! I like how he's trying to rile up Lee, but he's like failing so bad. Mama get out here. You, you all fucked! Yeah, they're both dead though, sorry. I said it's over! Just walk away! Don't you dare walk away from me, Lee! Oh, who gives a shit? Get back here and finish this, Lee! Nah, if you want to die, you can kill. You can die on your own, man. I'm not gonna do it. Goodbye. Get back here and fight me like a man, Lee. <laughs> I like how he's just trying to do that, huh? Lee. Looks like the generators run out. They're getting in. That's fine. Lee. Let's go, guys. Let's go. He can die on his own Who cares. And what I don't like is Lily is judging us for like what happened. Oh damn, there's the mom. <laughs> But I don't like that she was judging us about killing her dad. Like, I get it, it was wrong and, like, fucked up, but, like, the, su the situation and, like, how it happened. God damn it. At least it stopped raining, right? And Kenny's okay. I think he just got grazed. He wasn't actually shot. Clementine's upset with me. I know she is. Hey, Lee. I'd say I'm sorry for leaving the motel unattended, but, you know. No, I'm glad you came. I'm glad you showed up when you did. If you hadn't taken that shot at Andy, we might not have gotten out it's of it. It's true. Were they really killing people? For food? Yeah, they fucking ate Mark. Yeah, they were. That is sick. God, just... Ugh. Ugh. Clementine, she doesn't Just reminds know, me right? of season five in The Walking Dead, the show. She's not stupid, Carly. Katya managed to grab this while she was in the house. She said it was with your stuff. Ooh, the tape recorder. Yeah. I found it while I was looking for the people who shot Mark. Do you want it? Why don't you keep it? Sometimes it helps to have something you can document your thoughts on. Alright. Well, we don't have any batteries, though. Unless, because, you know, Carly's good with those. Uh, how are you doing? I'll be fine. I'm just not as young as I used to be. Hon, go on okay. ahead and give me and Lee a second. Okay. Can you, right? There's gonna be fallout. Hell yeah. For killing Lily's dad? Yeah. I would imagine so. Yep. What do you think? Well, bros to the end, right? Either way. I'm with you, Kenny. We'll do what has to be done. You're damn right. Listen, that RV back at the motor inn is just about ready. I've changed my mind. I want you to come with us when we leave. Yes. Yeah? Hell yeah. We're a team, man. Me and yeah, you. Yeah, bro, man. By taking out Larry before he turned, you saved all of us in that meat locker. And that saved my family, too. Yeah. I'd say you earned it. All right, I'm glad I earned your trust. Come on, Clem. Oh, Clem. Stay close. Lee, are those bad people dead? Yes, the walker's probably gone. I gotta be honest with her. I can't yes, lie. Yes, walker's probably got them. They were very bad people, and they were punished for it. Okay. I know hey, it's Dad, terrible, but she needs to know. What's that noise? Oh, great. More trouble? Okay. Sounds like a car. Oh, God. Not more strangers. Ooh, 
with just a car for the taking, huh? Um. Hello? Hello? Probably shouldn't say hello, though. We know how this ends, so from until dawn, remember when everybody was saying hello? <laughs> okay. This seems like it's safe enough, right? Not shady at all. It's perfectly fine. Perfectly safe. And there's no one inside. Figures. It's kind of oh, odd crap. that it's just like left it like that. What? Baby, you gotta see this. It's a shitload of food and supplies back here. This food could save all of us. Mm. Not all of us. Oh, Lily. <sighs> Look, we don't know if these people are dead. That is true, too. If they come back, then we're just monsters who came out of the woods and ruined their lives. Ah, uh, it's... Uh, this stuff fuck. isn't ours. Dad, whose car is it? Don't worry about that, Duck. It's ours now. It's abandoned, Ducky. Don't worry. What if it's not? Well, what if it's not abandoned? What if it is someone's? Mm-hmm. Okay, so it, this goes back to the whole survival versus morality thing, or, or having humanity within the apocalypse, because this is still the early days of the apocalypse, so it's not, like, too bad yet, but in my opinion, if I was in this situation, I'd probably take it, if I'm being real here, because knowing how the apocalypse, how bad it can get, like, you need everything you can take to survive, and I know... I know it's gonna be like tough decisions to be like that. And in the same way, I see what Clementine is getting at. Like, we don't know if there was people who are still around, but you wouldn't just leave a car like this, you know what I mean? Unless you're in terrible danger. So, uh, I'm gonna say we have to take it on this one. We have to take this, Clementine. We need it to survive. Who says it's your decision to make? Hey, Lily. we don't have time for this shit. Like it or not, we need this food. Now get over here and open the trunk, Lee. I'm sorry, Clementine. I don't want, you know, to be her to be upset, but this is the reality of the situation. Let me know in the comments, what would you do if you, you had to pick? Because, like, I just think this is the only way we have to do this. Sorry. Oh, shit. No shit, I already tried that. But I heard you take the keys from up front. Sorry, I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> Alright. Supplies? I'll take it. I know, this is terrible. I'm sorry. Great. Maybe we'll survive this after all. Duck, why don't you carry this? Okay. Uh. More food in here. Or at least we could take like half of it or something like that. It would just make more sense to do that. Got a box of food here. I'll carry it. This hoodie looks to be about your size. Why don't you hold on to this? It might get cold. Mm -hmm. It's not mine. Clementine. Just, just hold well, on to think it. Think of it like you're holding on to it. You can give it back if we ever meet up with him, okay? Okay. I'm sorry, Clem, but you need to. She's so pissed at me. Oh my goodness. Hey, there were some batteries in one of those boxes. I thought they might work in your camcorder. Here, you can have some too. For your walkie-talkie. Batteries, huh? Think you can handle those? <laughs> You're not gonna let me live that down, are you? Dude, you didn't even put them in the right way. How can we not? Oh, God. Lee, you're gonna want to see this. Oh, shit. So she- that- that crazy lady was, like, watching us the entire time. Jake, Bart, Linda, and all y'all fucking sickos from the 
save us. They call y'all bandits, but you're fucking rapists, mon- Oh, no. Oh, darling, baby, look at you. Look at you. Oh, you need a mama, sweetheart. We won't let them bandits get you, will we? No. Okay. How can he hear the... Should... Uh... I don't know. Okay. Can you help me find it? Sure. When did you lose Oh, shit, this was earlier in the day. A days ago. I promise. If Y'all thinking it, you're I'll safe? You know. Sitting there acting like things are the way they used to be. The dead don't kill their own. It's the living you gotta be afraid of. She's right the about that, though. I used to call friends. The people who do... Don't worry, little girl. Bandits got their eye on that dairy. As long as they keep getting food from them, you'll be safe. I promise. Okay. Next time on The Walking Dead. Mr. AMC, where are you? <laughs> Making is done, pal. Ain't nothing left. We gotta get the hell out of here. Yep. Lee, I need you to back me up on this. Is this all you got? I told you this town is tapped. Do you have any idea what we had to do to get all that? Fuck. We need to leave. Duck was asking about the farm last night. Oh, that's where the helicopter crashes into the farm. Scene? It's starting to add up. I need to get to the coast. Get him out of all this madness. Lily's not doing so good, huh? Well, we killed her dad. We did kill her dad. We killed her dad. Maybe people out there got things lined up better. Better than us, at least. Could be folks who have all this shit figured out. Do people get mad when they're scared? Sometimes, yeah, they do. This is crazy! I'm the one keeping this group going! We can sort this all out, alright? We can sort this out! I'll tell you what we need to sort out. We can't let one person fuck this up for everyone else! Yeah, this is gonna be a sad one. This episode's really sad, actually. <laughs> okay, so my choices for this one. 84% uh, people chalked off David's leg, which is interesting. 87% uh, of people did uh, did not shoot Jolene, so Danny shot her. And 31% uh, players helped kill Larry, so most of you helped Lily. Interesting. And 82% didn't kill the brothers, and 55 stole the food. So it's even on the food, but majority of the situation is people still have their humanity when playing this game, which I find really interesting. Ooh, that was a very interesting episode. It's probably my favorite one, just because of the whole twist of, like, the cannibalism thing. I just liked how, how many clues they left for you to figure out that there was something wrong with them. Um... And then, and then in the fact that you have, uh, your humanity is essentially tested in this episode, and I know it seems like I don't have any in, at this point with the choices I'm making, but the thing is just because I've, I've read the comics and I've watched the show up until season seven so far, and I just know how terrible it, it can get, and then can, thinking in a realistic manner, it's just like, your humanity has to not be the number one priority in this kind of situation, as screwed up as that is, but... That's just my opinion. Anyway, if you guys have played this game and played this episode, please let me know what choices you made for this one, because I'm really curious just to know what you guys said. And if you are enjoying The Walking Dead so far, remember to leave a like, comment, and subscribe to join the companions, just to let me know that you guys want me to continue the series, because if you guys don't support it, then I'm not going to play it anymore, you know what I mean? Anyway, I will see you in the next episode. Bye, everybody! <laughs> He's just waiting for me to leave, too, so he can get up and run. <laughs>